What's going on YouTube family? Back at you guys again with another video today. Um, my apologies for my lack of content the past few weeks. I've been super busy. Um, had that Q4 push with this retail arbitrage stuff I'm about to show you. Um, had finals. I'm still a full-time student as well. But I kind of want to just dive into you know how my Q4 is going um, with retail arbitrage specifically. Um, my private label accounts pretty much going to plan and I'll show you guys at the end of December when that's all final and going through um, but I kind of you guys seem to really enjoy these retail arbitrage videos because I it can resonate with a lot of you guys it's what a lot of you guys want to do um, private label videos I'll still be making those but going into the next year I'm really going to actually be growing my retail arbitrage account um, and incorporating some wholesale and OA as well into this account so I just bought a vlogging camera it's like a six seven hundred dollar camera I forget it's like the Sony one where the thing kind of flips out so you can see yourself I got a whole little bundle kit with the selfie stick and all that stuff so I'm going to be doing uh, sourcing vlogs starting um, within the next few weeks um, really cool editing I'm gonna start learning how to edit these videos to bring you guys some better content but I just want to show you guys some of the stuff I've sold um, and kind of tell you guys where I bought it at, how much I bought it for, um, and just kind of show you guys what's possible with retail arbitrage. I know Q4 sales are inflated. My Q4 retail arbitrage sales aren't nothing to really brag about. Um, they're pretty good for a lot of you guys that are probably watching just getting started. Um, you might think it's a lot, but I'm going to break down, you know, how much is profit, how much I expect to do um, during the remainder of Q4, and so on and so forth. Um, also, guys, I've been super, super sick the past five, six days with the flu. Um, it's been going around in my area. Um, so I've pretty much just been in bed trying to get my work done for school because I just had my last final today. But let's just get into these sales. So today so far, we've had a pretty slow morning. Um, also, I'm waiting on my last big shipment to hit. I've kind of sold through a lot of the stuff, mostly toys. But so far in December, again, guys, it's just my retail arbitrage account to show you guys. Um, what I'm doing with retail arbitrage. So far, we're almost at 19,000. Um, I'm expecting to get closer to 20 by the end of the day. I've been averaging about, you know, 15 to 1,500 to 2,000 sales a day so far this month on my retail arbitrage account. Um, the last 30 days, just to show you guys, this is legit because I know if this video ends up getting a lot of views, there's going to be those naysayers, uh, the haters. Um, these are real sales. Um, I'm updating them live. So November 12th, exactly a month, $33,655 in sales. Not bad, guys. This is part-time. And most of this, these sales came from like a really like a one-week work period where I just went super hard. I bought a ton of stuff, shipped a ton of units in. Um, I didn't really go hard on Black Friday like a lot of people. I got a lot of those golden eggs like um, it was a super hot toy. I only got about 20 of them. I merchant fulfilled them all. They all sold the first day. Um, but other than that, most of this has been toys, shoes, and like sportswear clothing, like jackets. I've actually sold the same exact jacket um, in the red color as well and just stuff like that. But I'm going to go over to my managed orders. I already have it pulled up and just kind of show you guys what I have sold, right? So um, basically, I've sold these shoes, 65 bucks, some Under Armour stuff. Most of this stuff is from Ross and Marshalls, mostly Ross. Okay, guys, these hoodies, I've been selling these hoodies. I got them for $21.99 at Ross. I've been selling them all day. Socks, shoes, socks, toys, toys, um, some Jordan things, some more toys. I've had these for forever. I only bought them because they're on sale for like a dollar at Marshalls. Horrible buy, but I got a ton of them, so I still have a lot left. Um, got these, I believe from TJ Maxx, these little woman's pants. Um, some more, I lost money on these because my reprice was stupid. But some Jan Sports I picked up at Burlington. These Nikes, I got these Nike hats for like $3 at the Nike clearance store. Um, some more jackets, some baby dolls. As you guys can see, we'll start getting into more of toys. Like this thing right here, I picked up a bunch of these. I've sold probably 20 of them in the past few days. Uh, I got them for $3.99 at Ross, sold them for $18.36. Not huge profits, but when you do it in volume, it adds up. These Barbie doll collection things, I got these at um, Kohl's for, I believe, $17.50 on Black Friday. Not a huge profit, maybe $10 in there, but I got a, quite a few of them. 
Under Armour backpack. Got these from Ross. I've already sold this backpack before when school is starting, and it seemed a few Rosses got some more, so I picked them up. 20 bucks, sold it for 60. Probably profit around 25, 30 bucks, maybe. Not bad. A ton of these Nike shorts from the Nike clearance. Um, picked them up for, I believe they're on sale for. They're $19.99 and then 30% off. So that's 14 bucks I paid. So you're looking maybe at a 20, probably like a 16, 17 dollar profit on those. I sold a lot of them, so not bad. I'm mad I didn't pick more of these disco ball things up. I, I was picking them up for it was 30 or 35 from Ross. Could have got a ton of them. I haven't sold much in like the music uh, instrument category, so I wasn't sure how it would go. But it sold the first day it got there for 107 so I'm kind of mad I didn't get more. But you live and you learn. I sold a ton of Transformers. Got these Nikes on Black Friday for about $20 or $25. Um, I know a lot of you guys are probably saying, I can't sell Transformers. I can't sell Barbie. I sold a crap ton of these things from Ross. Um, picked these Adidas's up at Marshall's. A bunch of them for... 25 or 30 dollars and been selling them in the 80 dollar range all day again the barbies a lot of these toys you're going to see are the same it's transformers transform I, I sold so much transformer stuff from ross it is ridiculous actually guys i picked these up for like five or seven dollars from walgreens on black friday because they had like buy was it buy two get two free um so it was pretty good buys transformers a lot of the toys i sold i I went hard on Transformers because all of the um, Rosses in my area had a ton of Transformers, Bumblebee. So I literally just hit every Ross in my area and I had hundreds of these Transformers things. One of them I sold like 40 of them in an hour, probably like a week ago. See, here's this jacket I'm wearing. I actually picked these up for like $21 um, on the last Nike Friends and Family. Sold most of them, had one left over, sold it for 80 Not bad. And you guys are probably saying, well, I can't sell this stuff. Um, but I'm going to give you guys some tips on how you guys can get ungated and this type of stuff, right? And the thing is, guys, it's not hard to find wholesalers, right, or distributors, right? Obviously, you're not going to be able to probably find distributors for, like, Adidas and Nike. But for toys, they're at Ross, they have tons of toys, guys. Um, and all you have to do is type in toy distributor in the United States apply if you have your business license if you have a resale certificate if you have your whole business set up correctly you apply it's not hard to get accepted to a lot of these bigger brands you're not going to make any profit from getting accepted but you can at least order and get those invoices and i'm mad i didn't do this for some brands like nerf and stuff before q4 which i should have because i could have got a ton of nerf stuff from ross and made a killing on it but that's just how it goes right but you don't have to make money to get on a wholesale order just get that darn um invoice to get um ungated in these brands guys that's what i'm going to start doing i'm also going to start looking for wholesale but just kind of showing you guys what i sold um like these nike lanyards i picked them up for like three bucks on clearance at the nike store not big profits as you guys see like this right here this was insane to me right this little toy right here let's click on it this little toy, guys, I picked this up at Ross for like $2.99 or $3.99. It's literally this big. Like, it's the smallest toy and sold it. What did I sell it for? $29.95. So that just shows you some of the prices people are willing to play are insane. Got a bunch of these cleats from Nike on Black Friday for like $25. Bucks. Sold them all, made decent profits. Um, but yeah, guys, as you can see, a lot of these toys are exactly the same. Um, but yeah, guys, that's just getting down basically into what I've been up to. As you guys can see, my sales, 33000 in the last 30 days so far for the month, uh, month to date. We're at 18927 I'm expecting to hit 40 once this next shipment gets in there. It's about 500 items all around, you know, the 30 to 45 to $50 range. Um, so once I know all, most of them are going to sell through within the first couple of days of getting there. Um, so I should be able to hit the 40K mark for a month. Not bad. Not what I, if I could have went a lot harder, guys. I did most of the work for this in about a week. Um, and it wasn't easy. It was a lot of time sourcing, a lot of time prepping. I did it all by myself. 
Um, but yeah, guys, this just shows you what's possible. Again, guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Let me know what type of content you guys want to see from me in the future. Again, stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. I'm going to be doing a ton of retail arbitrage stuff coming up because I really think, you know, retail arbitrage is the easiest business model to probably get into. I know you're uh, gated in a lot of stuff as well, but I'm actually joining my Facebook group um, down below. It's a free Facebook group. I'm going to be finding some toy distributors that are easy to get accepted to, have low minimum orders. Even though you might not make a profit on the order, you might lose some money. At least you're going to get ungated in these brands. Um, and I'm just going to be throwing those out for free in there within the coming weeks. Um, so yeah, you guys want to do that. Also guys, um, if you haven't joined my training program, um, it's down in the description. It's all private label right now, but I'm working on adding a whole new retail arbitrage course and just bundling them together. And don't worry, my students right now, you will have access to that as well. But I'm going to be going step by step into how to do retail arbitrage as well. Um, so stay on the Look out for that. Um, it'll be two courses for the price of one, and this course is already cheaper than everyone else that you probably see on YouTube. It's not five hundred. It's not a thousand. It's not two thousand. It's not even four or five hundred bucks, guys. It's way cheaper than that. I want to make it readily available to you guys. And also, I'm going to be working on OA and wholesale. I might bring someone in to do the online arbitrage part um, to add to the course eventually, and then I'm going to start trying to build up wholesale as well. And eventually add that in so all my students now you are going to get access to all that stuff for free so stay tuned if you like this video leave me a like leave me a comment and I'll be sure to bring you guys the content you guys want to see again whatever you want to see leave it down in the comment section below um, and yeah guys I'm glad to be back I'll be posting constantly now I'm feeling a lot better school's over um, Q4 is pretty much over for me I don't have any more work to do for it um, so yeah guys, stay tuned and I'll be back at you guys tomorrow with another video.